One of the most popular stitches in knitting today is the cable stitch. It's often used in Irish sweaters and afghans. To do the cable stitch, you will need both one-prong tools. We will be referring to the stitches of the six-stitch cable as stitches one through six, numbered from left to right. Transfer stitches one, two, and three, one by one, onto one of the one-prong tools by inserting the eye of the transfer tool into the hook of the needle. Be sure to keep your transfer tool angled slightly up so you don't lose the stitches. Then, with the same tool, move the needle forward to holding position, then back to non-working position. Then, hook the eye of the transfer tool onto the left hand adjacent needle and let it go. Using the second transfer tool, remove stitch number four and transfer it to needle number one. Then, transfer stitch number five onto needle number two. And stitch number six onto needle number three. Your stitches will be tight, but that's normal. Now remove the first transfer tool from the needle it is resting on. Using the second one prong tool, push the first stitch on the transfer tool onto needle number six. Repeat this for the next two stitches, placing them onto needles number five and four. These stitches will also be tight, but again, this is normal for cable. Now bring all the needles holding the cable stitches, plus a couple needles on either side, up to forward working position. This makes knitting the tight stitches easier and is very important. Make sure the latches are open on the needles in forward working position and knit the row. Now knit nine more rows and repeat making the cable. To make the purl or definition stitch on each side of the cable, insert the latch tool into the first row of the stitch adjacent to the cable. Release the stitch and let it unravel to the latch tool. Latch up the stitch as you would for doing ribbing. Repeat this for the stitch on the other side of the cable. Note that you will want to drop and latch up this stitch approximately every 20 rows or you'll have to be latching it up from the floor. Now let's see what the cable looks like on the right side. 